Hey everyone, doesn't 2019 seem such a long time ago? In Britain, people were talking about leaving the EU, whereas nowadays people are more interested in talking about when they're getting to leave the house. This week it was yet more the same, depressing fatality numbers while we all sit around at home eating for the cupboards in the freezer. Earlier this week, the wife asked me if I wanted canopies for dinner. I thought, yum, there must be some left in the freezer to heat up in the oven. Then it turned out she was actually asking me about a can of peas in the cupboard. Mind you, most of us had it better than Boris Johnson who spent most of the last weekend in hospital in an intensive care ward. Unlike most of his normal visits to a hospital, there was no PR blitz. In fact, there was no video footage at all this time, leading many to speculate whether he was actually in a far more serious condition than his press people were letting on. My goodness, if you can't trust a politician to tell the truth, what's the world coming to? Ultimately, it seems like he's made a good recovery. Let's just hope he doesn't shake hands with the medical staff when he says thank you on his way out. That'll be in a couple of days from now, I guess, hopefully before he goes back to his usual job of surrounding himself with advisors, ministers, staff, congregating with lots of people in small places, not what you're supposed to do. You know, in many respects, hanging around with 650 people in a confined House of Commons was always asking for trouble, though I guess it depends on your priorities and how you assess risk. I mean, you could go out and claim that every zoo is a petting zoo if you don't mind being bawled to death by a tiger. You know, for now, though, I guess we'll have to see if the virus ultimately does take anyone senior in government from us. A week or two back, there was even rumours that the Queen or Prince Philip may have had it. And we know that Prince Charles did get it. There's always a risk that Prince Andrew might have breathing difficulties too. Well, for him, it would probably involve a tragic yet unexplained accident involving a rope. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.